Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a quick loot crate follow up some of the goodies that I got from a loot crate I've actually been using and I want to report back on what my experiences have been Now, a long time ago the olden days of November of 2013 I did a loot crate unboxing and the theme I believe was celebrate and there was a bunch of cool stuff in there We were getting ready for the holidays. We had Thanksgiving Christmas was coming up But one thing took me a little by surprise by how much I've enjoyed using it and that is this mighty wallet by Dino mighty design and uh, I've actually been using this as my daily driver wallet for a little more than six months now. And I just wanted to show how well this thing has actually held up. So of course, when uh, when I pulled it out of the loot crate to unbox it, it was nice and crisp and flat and all of the edges were really clean and it looked really pretty. It wasn't quite as scuffed up, but it already had sort of a worn look anyway. That was sort of the design of the wallet. And opening it up, you can see sort of the, the Batman comic book panel, that little pointillism stuff going on right there. And uh, the back doesn't really have anything on it, so I don't know why I showed you that. But for, for the last six months, this has been the wallet that I've had in my back pocket uh, more often than any other. I'm not really a billfold kind of guy. I, I end up making every wallet a George Costanza wallet, just packing more and more stuff inside of it until eventually it ruptures and bursts. The folks at Dynomighty claim that this Tyvex material that they make their wallets out of is nigh indestructible. Spoon! But I've actually had uh, pretty fantastic experiences using this wallet and not having it just split and tear and come apart at the seams. For comparison's sake, this is the wallet I used to use, a little window flap wallet here, and you would kind of just pack cards and stuff in there. And, and you can see just how warped and deformed this, I, I don't even know if it's real leather. You can see how warped and deformed it got just from everything that I used to pack into it. It used to be really, really thick, really, really fat. And this is pretty much the same situation I've got going on here. I keep gift cards and credit cards and business cards and tap cards and Google wallet cards all in one side. This is all of like, like stuff that has money on it. I keep that on one side of my wallet. And then identification stuff, so driver's license and insurance and my membership cards and my healthcare cards. And then I also keep a pair of these charge cards from Nomad. So if I ever need to help someone with an iPhone uh, charge their device on the go or someone with a micro USB port charge their device on the go, I keep one of each just so that I'm always prepared because I'm also an Eagle Scout and I'm a big dork like that. And so I was not expecting this wallet to hold up. It's made out of a papery material. They call it Tyvex but it comes apart and it pulls out so that you can make things a little bit thicker, a little bit fatter. It's completely recyclable too, which I think is pretty sweet. But it's designed to open up, to kind of flay out at the corners. And I really thought that um, just with the huge stacks and wads of cash that I always carry with me all the time, uh, that these, these sliding points would have worn out by now, that they would have pulled out or torn by now. And that's actually been where the wallets held up the best. Um, I've actually been really surprised by that. I also really thought that this whole windowed area right here would start to split and tear. And you can see it is really getting worn down here at the bottom where the cards sort of settle, like when you put all the cards back in and they settle at the bottom of the wallet. This part is starting to fray just a little bit. But I've been using this, this wallet nonstop for six months and it hasn't torn or split yet. Cosmetically, the, the worst area has been on the back. And again, just like on my leather wallets, where the cards press up against the back and it starts to sort of dimple and deform, that edge of where the cards sit becomes one of the primary areas where it just this starts to wear off. But because of the look of this wallet and because of the look of the material, it, I think it actually looks pretty cool as it starts to age, as it starts to wear out. The Mighty Wallet's done something really cool here in that it looks like you maybe could have made this wallet yourself. In this new culture of geekery, of DIY, of, of making, I'm gonna make a, a wallet out of duct tape. Um, they have provided a solution which looks totally homegrown. And people have asked me as I've pulled the wallet out of my pocket if I've made it. And of course I have to say no because I'm also a Boy Scout and I would never lie to someone just to make them think I was cooler than I actually am. And ultimately this whole wallet experience retails for 15 bucks. Dino Mighty sells a Mighty wallet for 15 bucks if you catch their website. I've left a link below this video just so you can go uh, check it out. But for the last six months, I've had a cool wallet. This is a this has become a cool uh, conversation piece. People ask me questions about it. I don't often talk about menswear, fashion, apparel, and this is decidedly, this is a geeky accessory. But for as fun as a wallet can be, I've really enjoyed my time with the Mighty Wallet, and it's held up 
far better than I ever would have expected it to. Especially the punishing abuse that I put my wallets through, I fully expect that I could make it a full year on just this wallet alone. And when the time comes to replace it, I'll probably shop another Mighty Wallet just for something else geeky and fun. And of course, I'm super happy about this wallet because I did not pay $15 for my Mighty Wallet. I paid $20 for an awesome loot crate which happened to have a mighty wallet inside. And if you folks would also like to start landing your own mystery geek and gamer crate of cool gear every month, check out the links below my video because I've also got a promo code that can save you 10% off of your loot crate. It's SG Loot. Use that at checkout and you will save yourself a little cash. You'll have cool gear delivered to your doorstep every month. And I've been having a lot of fun with the loot crate service because you get cool surprises like this. I did not expect that I would enjoy a wallet <laughs> as much as I have, but I thought that that was important to share with you folks. As always, everybody, thanks so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, subscribing to my channel, uh, dropping me all those comments down below. If you've got questions about the Loot Crate service, definitely uh, drop a comment below. I'll be happy to answer it for you. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.